hello beautiful people um today i'm back with another video and i want to talk about how can we escape the matrix i know i've done a video in the past about how to escape the matrix but i wanted to if you haven't watched it you can go watch it have some insight of what i'm talking about and then you can come back to this one and continue so what's the matrix in the first place the matrix basically is a situation that disempowers us it's a situation of kind of confinement that takes away our power for example for the people that are seeking spiritual height spiritual growth they want to achieve enlightenment when they transcend the ways of the world when they transcend the desires of the flesh and achieve that um spiritual height that peak of enlightenment then they have escaped the matrix so the other metaphor used to to to, to um describe the matrix is um you know society is designed or is structured um in ways of control all these institutions we work at um corporations organizations from the health services the government the financial system the education system the judicial system they are designed to control they are designed to disempower us they are not designed with you and i's interest in mind no they are designed for us to empower for they are designed for us to fuel their own dreams and goals so when you stop when you get away from that system and maybe create your own business or become self-employed and do your own thing you get your power back you get your freedom back and then you have escaped the matrix now the other metaphor is um, escaping the matrix, the matrix as the web of limitation due to conditioning the mind that disempowers us due to conditioning. From places that we've grown up to, let me say our parents, families who grew up to, culture, society, the education system, the schools we attended, the universities, places we work. As we obey these things, they have an impact on us. So we tend to behave and think in ways that are not our own, but that, that have been um, conditioned to behave and think. So if one is facing chronic issues such as um, body relationships, um, one is struggling with finance or health problems, um, frustration, doubts, fear, lack of confidence, um, self-doubt, all these things are deeply embedded in us, like our values and, and, and beliefs, and, but there's no way they are holding us back. So you become a negative thinker, you become a destructive thinker because of these things that you're thinking that are disempowering you. So how can we really escape this matrix, this way of thinking? Point number one, by developing, um, excuse me, by developing a growth mindset. What do I mean by a growth mindset? Basically, a growth mindset is the mindset that says talent, skills, gifts can be worked upon. Someone can grow and become like a pro in those areas. For example, um, people that do sports, they train, they practice, even if their talent is not as good, but when they practice and train, they become better. Even if you didn't have a talent, but if you learn a skill, because we human beings are malleable, you can always learn something, you can always adjust to new environments and adopt new situations. So you can get yourself to learn something and become good at it. That is a growth mindset. However, majority of the time, we do have a fixed mindset. The mindset that says, as things are, is the way things are. If you're, you're either skilled or you're not skilled, you're either talented or you're not talented. If you're not talented, you're doomed. If you're talented, you have an advantage. So you're either talented or you're not talented and that's it. So it, you cannot change. But that's a mind that is keeping us backwards. Now the other point is, how to escape the matrix is to step away from the tribe, to step away from the cultures, the communities, this hard behavior that put us there in the first place the way culture behaves society behaves if tribes behave if these things are no longer serving you step away from them the ways of thinking those dogmas doctrines narratives that they tell us 
If you're no longer serving, you step away from them. Create your own values, create your own beliefs, and begin a new you. And lastly, mental wealth. Cultivate the habit of reading books so that you can enrich yourself. Become a Jedi. I get wisdom and knowledge read books relentlessly because this can change you it can help you to adopt new ways of thinking and 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 drop all the ones that are not serving you so many books have been written out there there are so many PDF books online that you can just go and download you don't have to pay anything and read and empower your mind so that you can change the ways of thinking that are disempowering you Okay, I hope you find this video interesting and as always, you can share if you um you can share if you have to. And thank you so much for watching my videos. I shall see you in my next one. Bye.